What is going on guys, DBG here, in this video we are going to be playing a game of my team, Supermax, with an all silver squad. Yep, all silver. In my opinion, it's the best silver squad you can put together. So anyway, this is the team. The one we've got, Mike James, the GOAT, averaging 9.3 points per game from me shooting pretty much 60% from the field. At the two, we've got Iman Shumpert, who's a beast of a card. Great defensive card. 85 draw fell, 86 shot mid, 86 shot three, decent ball control, 85 lateral quickness, on ball defense, like you have 80. He's also got a decent driving dunk of 77, okay tendency of 70, good speed speed of ball and acceleration, really good vertical of 94, and overall is just a beast for a silver card. At the three, we've got Robert Covington. This guy is just incredible. 85 defensive overall, 70 offensive overall, home shot mid, 71, home shot three, 77. He has 79 free throw. His defense is unbelievable as well, 85 lateral quickness, uh, 86 on ball defense, Mikey with an 80 steal. Not going to be dunking the ball too much, but a great 3 and D guy. At the 4 we have got Ben Simmons, is not going to shoot the ball at all. Got a terrible shot mid of 51, terrible shot 3 of 52. Not a great free throw, not the best ball control, okay passing stats. Decent defense rebounds, so he's probably best at the four. But look at that speed. 90 speed for a silver. This card is just unstoppable. At the five, got Thonmaker. Thonmaker is a glitch. Like, I know his stats don't look the best. He's got an overshot three of 80, but he does have speed with ball of uh, 68, which does help. But this card is just glitchy. It's so, so good in this game. So, yeah, this is the starting five. At the bench, we have got Alonzo at the one. I really like Alonzo for some reason in this game. He can shoot as well, 79 home shot three. We've got David Nwaba at the two. I probably will actually make a second channel video on him very, very soon. But um, great defensive card, 88 defensive overall. He can shoot the ball as well, open shot three of 80. Not the best open shot mid. He's got not great ball control, 65. Not the best rebound. Actually, okay rebounding, I guess. Um, He's got 94 lateral quickness. He's got on-ball defense IQ of 86. So he's just going to be locked down. Not the best steal. He's got a decent driving of 80. Not the best tendency of 70, but not terrible. Decent speed, acceleration speed with ball. So he may actually get to the basket and get a couple of dunks. But three, we've got Alfred Gaminu, another defensive player. Um, and he can shoot the ball as well. Good, good enough three-point shot of 77. Not the best everything else shooting-wise. Rebounding really good. 86 offensive, 88 defensive. Lateral quickness is decent. On-ball defense IQ of 79 is good though. Low cost defense 75. So he's versatile. He's got not the best speed, speed of ball or acceleration. And he also doesn't have the best driving dunk of 70. But it's not terrible. So this card is going to be quite good. But just kind of a glue guy for the team. At the four we have got Kyle Kuzma. Really, really nice moments card. One of the best offensive silvers in the game. He isn't the best in the post per se. But is a really nice card. Like... 82 open shot mid, 83 open shot 3, 85 free throw, good ball control, not terrible but not great rebounding, 73 lateral quickness, not the best defender but relatively versatile I guess, not great low post or on ball but not absolutely terrible, decent driving dunk, decent speed, speed ball acceleration, so just a kind of solid offensive card. At the 5 you've got Jason Smith, a really underrated card, I don't know why this card's so good but... He's an absolute beast this year. Open shot mid 94, open shot three of 80. Not the best in a lot of things. Not terrible rebounding. 79 block, which is quite good for a seven footer. And I thought, oh, this card's gonna be really slow. No, he's got 62 speed. So one of those under the radar centers that just torched me one time when I was playing a challenge against the Wizards and is an absolute beast. Then we've got TJ Leaf, really nice card. Can play it probably at the three or the four. Good post hook, post fade away. 85 open shot three, 79 open shot mid. Not the best rebounding, but not absolutely terrible. Not great defense. Speed of 75 is good. Not the best speed with ball, though. So if he is the three, he's just going to be a three-point shooter. But he is quite good inside as well. Larry Markin can play the four or the five. And he just plays way above his stats. Open shot three of 81 feels way better. Good rebounding. And then we've got DeJounte Murray, who's a B6 for five. One of the best all-around silver point guards in the game. And if... Um, I doubt it'll happen, but if Mike James is starting to be killed height-wise, I might put him in at the point. So anyway, now let's get on to the game. Alright, so we're playing against Kyrie Irving, we're playing against Shaq. Ooh, we're playing against that Porzingis though, so that will be tricky. Victor Aladipo is should actually be a beast of a card. That moment's Aladipo, the problem with that card is that he has a really low dunk tendency. So let's get the bench sorted. Lonzo Ball, Noaba, Kuzman, Smith. Yep. Outspeed him, straight to the basket. Good board. Let's go, Simmons. Make the layup. You gotta make that one, though. Come on. Alright, I don't think this guy's particularly good at the game. Pull up. Let's go, Mike James. Jam that. Or lay it in. Come on, Thon. Let's go. 
One point gain. Nah, that's not good. Oh, pull up. Steph misses, and so does Lonzo. Bang. Nawaba in the corner. Come on, he's got an 80 shot three. That's got to go in. We're shooting 25% from the field. And we're still somewhat, somehow in this game. So, I'll take it, I guess. Like, I can't shoot much worse. I'm still doing all right. You see, they're not defending as well. Wide open Nawaba for three. Puts it up. That shouldn't be... That's not lightly contested. And how does that ball go over the board? Like, let's have a look at our three-point percentage. We're, we've only shot open ones. Wide open threes, and we're 0 5. Like... Do they think we're in real life Lonzo Ball or something? Actually, I can't say that. He had a triple double yesterday, but um, yeah. And these silver cards are, they're not very good. Let's put it, like people say there's a handicap that silver players make every shot. I have yet to feel that once in this game or this year. Like I've yet to feel that there's a massive handicap or there's massive like rubber banding towards players of lower ratings. And I think I'm more equipped of saying this than everyone else because as you guys know, I play with the lower rating players. Every single game, I use at least one silver card. And I don't feel like any silver cards have a massive advantage over non-silver cards. As you can see here, I can't buy a bucket right now and I'm using silver cards and he's hitting everything. So the handicap rule, the rubber banding that weaker players play better is a myth. It's a myth. Like it's 100% a myth. And they make that, come on. Over a guy with a 79 block. You should have definitely got that. Come on, Jason Smith. Come on, Lonzo. Easy layup. Let's go. 94, open shot mid. You gotta hit this. You've gotta hit that. You have got to hit that. 90, open, 90 contested shot mid as well. That's lightly contested. That has got to go in. Pull up. Wide open. Nope. 0 9. Get the shumpert. Drives in. Schumpert makes a layup. Let's go. Four point game. Jam it. Oh, I'm one. I'm one, my James. Let's go. Bang. And I miss another open three. Another wide open three. Like, like they're missing everything because they're shooting dumb contested threes. I'm literally shooting wide open threes. Let's go, my James. Tie game. Drive to the basket. Finish the layup. Let's go, Mike James. Like, this card, like, with boosted intangibles, this card is genuinely an emerald. Like, and it's, it's hilarious how he's only 75 overall. Oh, straight to the basket. One more. Nuaba, 80 rated 3. Not a great release, but still, that's 0 of 9. That's, is it 0 of 9 or 0 of 10 at this stage? Mid-range, wide open. Let's go. Bang. Nope, even near the three-point line, we can't hit a three with any. We can't hit a shot with anyone. It's all good though. Six-point lead. Please, this one's wide open. No, another good open shot. Pass it that. That's a bad shot. Good rebound. Kuzma wide open or slightly contested. Another miss. Another one. Like this is getting ridiculous now. Like fair enough, missing a few. It's actually getting ridiculous right now. We're on them. I just want to see if there's some. There we go! Finally! Finally! We did it! We did it! We made a three pointer! I didn't think it was going to happen in this game! We finally did it! He thought he was getting off easy once I took off Lonzo Ball. If only he knew how good DeJounte Murray was. TJ Leaf for three, and TJ Leaf nails the three. Maybe it was just I needed to get someone off the bench. Maybe I just have to put TJ Leaf in. He is a beast in this game. Especially that moments card. Fine. Threes are greater than twos. All right, they're in the zone, I think. Noaba wide open for three. Puts it up. And we hit another one. Finally. I think we just needed to hit one, and then now we're three of four, like. TJ Lee for three. And he goes and nails it. We're now four of our last five. This is crazy. Bang. Let's go, Thon. Five of our last six. Once we made the first one, everything started falling. Pull up. That's a bad shot. But at this stage, everything's falling. Mike James hits the three. Bang. Wide open. And Mike James hits another three. He's got 19 points. 
Alright, let's just hold this out. We won by 10 points in the end with a full silver squad, which was crazy. 21 points for Mike James, Don Maker with 9, Lonzo Ball with 8, Aminu with 7, TJ Leaf with 6, and only 2 minutes of playing. TJ Leaf really changed it all. Him hitting that second 3-pointer really changed it. Um, Kuzma with 4, Shumper with 4, um, Smith with 4, Nwaba with 3, and one big 3-pointer in there. Um, DeJounte Murray came on, did well. Simmons didn't play well at all because really he had Porzingis stop him from going to the basket. And when he was on the floor, they just spread out. Marketing didn't score, and neither did Robert Covington. So anyway, that's the video. Mike James just carried the team, put the team on his back, as per usual. Like, I'm trying to see who my actual Supermax team is. Like, my moment squad. This is the team I use in the majority of gameplays. He's my starting, he's my backup point guard, and will uh, probably always be my backup point guard. This card is just as good as any card I've used this year. So this video pretty much proves that while silvers definitely shouldn't be used, I'm not advising you to use silvers. If you're really that stuck, they can definitely be used. While I would definitely not advise to use a full silver team, if you have to use one silver, two silvers in a game if you're just starting out, don't let that deter you from playing in Supermax. So anyway, that's the video. Thanks for watching. Please like, comment, and subscribe.